All right, so real simple, uh, when it comes to the news and not missing out, you can set, you can every morning look at uh, forexfactory.com, which is cool, get in the practice of doing that. What I like to do is I like to look at it for the week and usually identify days that there, there, you know, there's no news, okay? So you can go to forexfactory.com, show you how that works real quick, forexfactory.com. Boom, when it pulls up, <clears throat> this is what it looks like. And all your news is in this area here, right here, right? Um, it will generally give you the date, right? It'll give you the date. And it'll also tell you right here, actually, you know, what what currencies are affected, so depending on what you're trading. So I like I like forexfactory.com. Make sure that you do sign in with an account with an account. Uh, it's free to sign up. What that does is it allows you to um, set your time zones. Because the worst thing you want to do is to see news, be ready for it, but be ready for it in the wrong time zone. So that has happened to me before. So let me just jump to it real quick. So right here, if you go to settings, on settings you have where it says the fourth one down. It says new account, mailbox, news, and it says trade days, economic calendar. You're going to click that. That's where your news happened. Okay, so if we look here, uh, you see the flag below. So on here, you'll see the flag. Let's put it in the color you guys can see. Boom. See it right there? You see the flag is telling you what currency. So, of course, we're trading U.S.-based currencies. Or if you're trading something else, then, of course, you'd look for something else. Like if I scroll down, uh, actually, I have mine set to, to for U.S. because I have a filter. You go up into the filter, and you can filter out the different currencies. You can filter out low, medium, holidays. Anyways, you can whatever you want. For me, generally... I like to have the medium folders right here, the medium uh, impact folders, because they do move the currency some ways, okay? Low doesn't move the currencies, and then holidays, who cares about holidays, right? So, and then you can go down to the United States and worldwide, whatever, and click those, and those, those will be the only news that you will see. That's why you see nothing but USA flags online. So here's the deal. What you do is, like, for instance when let's go back to the 20th which is coming up right uh the the chairman powell is going to speak at 11 o'clock what i want to do is i want to click on it once i click on it i want to actually click the little bell and the bell is going to allow me to put a reminder so for this one he's going to speak it's not going to move the market right away so i can put event time so it's going to literally give me an alert at the event time the next one is Williams has a speech on the 21st. The ones I'm really looking for are like the new home sales, right? So new home sales is coming out. I want to, I want it to alert me five minutes before. Okay. Boom. That's set. Let's go to another one. Uh, new home sales. This one here is going to be one that's good too. Again, I'm going to alert myself five minutes before. So again, that's real quick on how to stay up to date with the news real quick. Real easy, real simple.